Welcome everyone. Let's try to make something happen with a new episode. So today's focus will be on the front axle. On side focus. At some point I will remove the springs. Try to figure out what's happening with my control arms, lower control arms. And change bushings for the diagonal. Diagonal control arm, I guess it's called, I don't know. Also, I figured out that all of these body bushings, these, cost around 80 euros where I'm from. That's a big price, so I collected all the ones I had, put it in place just so we have them, we have 10 of them. I will reuse my old, I don't want to spend 180 euros on bushings that I don't really need. So yeah, that's that. Yeah, for the control arms, as you can see, it goes like sideways a bit. It's not not supposed to be like that. I think I messed it up and I needed to put it on the other, other way around. We'll figure that one out when it comes to that. But yeah, now let's try to remove as much well, not as much, but everything except the, I think, except the, this, uh, steering rack, steering column, I don't know what's called, but except that, clean it up, paint it, just make it look tidy, and yeah, see what we have then. On the side note, as you noticed, maybe... I have these new discs, some new tools, did a little bit of cleaning up in my tent, so now I'm more situated. If all goes well, I will have plywood walls at some point. Yeah, and then it will look more like a sort of shop thingy, I guess. Yeah, also trying to figure out the Instagram, Instagram, trying to put stuff on there. So if, if you want, you can go check it out, go follow or anything. So we removed everything from from the axle. I messed up my axle a bit. Hope that's nothing too bad. Mess this one up. Yeah, not happy about it, but it is what it is. I needed to cut off the bushing because it was stuck to the frame of the axle. But yeah, nevertheless. I have no clue. Is it good or is it bad? But anyway, I will, I will clean up this axle, paint it. Might as well. And then I will, if needed, I will clean up this axle and paint it. A little step back, but it is what it is. I can do anything about it. A bit pissed off at myself, but hey. It's light. Okay, so let's start doing something useful. And what I want to do besides painting it, I want to copy the basically angles of this. This one's broken. Basically, copy the angles of uh, this brake tube. Then, where is there? It is. And yeah, just do it from copper tubing. 
and then paint it so I already have ordered these ends here so yeah plan is copy all of this and have it ready to be installed at the end of the painting so this is what I have small one that's clo as close to this original one as I could have get it, got it I just hope I don't mess up the ends and it's not too short basically it's not the smartest idea to do the curving before fitting the ends on but well I'm not the smartest person as you know <laughs> and the long one also as you can see here I have left more more to it so yeah let's now I guess remove this splitter and then maybe try to get the ends on and test fit somewhat So I got it on there, now let's try to bend it in place I guess, at least we'll see how it looks, I already know that it's upside down as I wanted it, but it is <clears throat> well something like this. She ain't pretty, but she'll get the job done. Yeah, and I'll quickly, as quick as I can, do the other side. I already forgot how much of a nightmare it was to do the brake lines before. And now I'm at it again. Yay. So, as you can see, this is what we have, pretty close to the original, hope it does its job right. Uh, the tubes, brake tubes, the rubber ones will come in a bit later, but that will be all in the fitting part. So, let's proceed to the second axle, second front axle, there's the first one, <laughs> this is my original. Uh, let's clean it up and... Give it a little bit of paint job so it looks fresher and it's definitely going to be cleaner when I put things on there. So it's finally time for a little assembly work. Just gonna quickly move that one out of the tent so I have more space for this one. And I guess I will fit the brake line. Got my ends, two different companies. One's longer, one's shorter, but that doesn't matter much. Also got my rear rubbers for the springs yeah and basically painted everything just need to change that bushing and also I don't have this steering arm because I messed this end up 
when trying to get it out and as I see it's not changeable not sure what I will do with this one but well for now no steering I can finish up steering with the steering damper steering stabilizer but hey we can fit the axle in so I can move move it around more one more thing that I don't have is this long uh, the main brake line that will go to the from axle to the splitter there but I will have it this week so I will fit everything without it and then I will screw that one down let's start fitting this mount back to the axle so it's held in on one 12 millimeter and one 10 millimeter screw so now we can fit our our brake tube that's also on 12 millimeter that I will figure out how to how to change at some point I don't know yeah well here's what it is I don't know how to do but we'll find out I just wanna get it quicker this is also held in on 12 millimeter screw now the brake lines themselves let's fit the tubes so a little update I found out the correct way to put these brake lines correctly if you can see here This has this little, like, dot thing. This is a flat head, flat side. Flat side goes towards the upper part, and the this other side goes towards the ground. And then it snucks in through quite easily, and yeah, you can put on this metal clamp. So, like I said, with the hole toward the bottom, just turn it a bit and you see how it goes, like, sticks out correctly, it doesn't stay in there. So now you can just easily put on this small clamp. Okay, this one's messed up. Find another small clamp. Let's try this one. Yep, this is more snugly. And now we can screw in these copper tubes. I'll get back to you once it once it's done. So there we go. The brake lines are changed. Just hope that on the first hole I don't break them off, but <laughs> but that's gonna be in testing phase. We'll see. Okay, now I guess I will install the long control arms and then start to move move it inward and see where we are where we're at and try to figure out the the diagonal pen hard rod or whatever it's called and the old emo suspension kit. So I now have the long control arms at place, in place, so I can start thinking about putting it there. But first I need to fit one side with these rubber bushes with a large hole. It goes on these ends right there. Because the second part of it will go 
from the inside where it screws to the frame yes yeah, so for now I won't do the stabilizers the sway bars I will do it a bit later because main focus for now is to get it back on four wheels so I can push it around and get rid of the second axle so I can take it away and uh, yeah free up some space because soon we can mount the engine so now I have this axle in place I think it look it's looking better than than the rear axle anyway let's fit on the suspension and then, then we'll see so yeah for suspension again old man emu this is what we have front shocks bushings uh, this is the code for the shocks to mil to five centimeter lift kit two inches and these are the springs again I will put in the description numbers so you can check it out for yourself if you're interested so the front suspension uh, pretty straightforward two sets of bushes for top and bottom Both have two rubber bushes and two metal rings to it and one not to tie it down. So yeah, like I said, pretty straightforward. The large ring, then the rubber cap, then this is the lower end, bottom end, it just goes through again rubber metal and tighten it down tighten it down so i'm just gonna put the inside bushings for top and bottom same to install it again it doesn't take much effort just you see that this dirt guard or whatever it is it goes up just stick it through there you can even tighten the up upper part down just so you have it in place already and then release it and now you can do the bottom fit the bushing the metal ring with the small ring and then just it's clear good to go you can tighten it down I won't tighten anything down for now but yeah so now we can lower it down and hopefully everything stays in place Finally, I can move it again. <laughs> so, yeah. Hold my Nemo two inches on front. 
Again, I won't tighten anything down. Firstly, because when I put the engine in and the body, it's just gonna bushings and will need to get in their original place needed. I need to figure out this steering arm. That's a bad thing that happened. And I didn't think about it that mom at that moment. And also one more thing that I will need. Sorry for the noise. I'm messing with my trap on. One more thing that I will need is these what's it called? The bump stops or or what what are they called? I don't remember. But yeah, I will need those also. Because I don't have them and I think I need to cut this hole, drill a new one and put it through. Okay, so that's it for this episode. I guess the next episode uh, oh yeah this this one will go some somewhere like this but I will get new one and also the ventilation I need to put on but yeah next episode either this small stuff that I need to figure out Again, everything is on the, to that side. Not sure what is going on with all of this, but still, we we made progress. So next episode, either I will figure out the small stuff that's left around the car, or next episode, the engine and gearbox. But I think most most likely it will be small stuff because I still need to. Uh, screw down this gearbox mount in the middle and then I still need to think everything about these pipes and tubings and also I think I will redo the rear brake lines for the axle might as well if I did the front so yeah Hopefully, soon we will be able to fit the body on. Anyway, thanks to all the new subscribers. Can't thank you enough. Really, like to you guys. It's insane. 260 at the moment. I'm one fourth of the way to be able to monetize my, my videos. <laughs> That's a dream, but still, that's not the main reason I'm doing this. The main reason is to share my knowledge on restoration process and hopefully help someone else in their struggles or wishes for renovation job. So, thank you all for stopping by and see you in the next episode. Bye!